In this video, I'm going to show you a few CSS games which will help you master CSS. So if you guys don't know about what a CSS is or if you do know about what a CSS is but if you're not feeling confident enough, so I've got 14 hours of course, you can check it out on my YouTube channel totally for free. And in that course, we build a lot of projects. So yeah, that was just a side note and now let's just talk about our first game of a CSS. So which is a CSS speedrun. So this game is based on a CSS selector. So so I'm not going to give you all of the solution because I want you to play around with this game by yourself. But I'm going to just guide you and I'm going to just give you a few solutions. And so now let me give you the first solution. So what it's saying is that we have a UL and inside this UL we have these three allies right here. And we want to just select this first ally which is inside this UL. So what do we have to do? I'm going to just write like um, ally and then I'm going to be using a first child okay so if i click on it so that was just an intro now it's time to play our first level right here so if i click on this button so here you can see the timer will start and what it's saying is that we have a div and inside this div we have a few paragraphs so it's saying that select all of the paragraph except this foo one so for that we can use the not css selector so what do we have to do I'm going to just write div and inside this div we have a paragraph and I'm going to just use the not and we just want to ignore this foo one right here. Okay, so if I click on it and that's completely correct. So you can play around with this other one by yourself and yeah, the link will be in the description below. So the next CSS game we have is a CSS diner or CSS dinner, whatever you want to call it. So you can find all of the solution by clicking on this icon right here, but I will not recommend you to do this. So you can learn about this instruction right here and you can play this game. So what it's saying is that we have to select these two. So what do we have to do? If I hover my mouse over to it, so the name is a player. So what do we have to do? I'm going to just type plate right here okay and if I hit enter so here you can see that first one is gone and it will now give us these new ones so here you can see now these two are bouncing so if I hover my mouse over to it so it will now give us that name and I can type that name right here so I'm going to just write bento or bento <laughs> so if I hit enter so here you can see that will be gone so now the third one we have is if we hover our mouse over to it so we have to select this one by using the id okay so how can we go about doing that well we just have to write a pound symbol and then just write a fancy and if i hit enter and here you can see that will be gone so now i'm going to just give you this last solution and then you should go and play around with this side by yourself so if i hold my mouse over to it so we have this apple which is inside this player so what do we have to do i'm going to just write played and then um apple and if i hit enter so here you can see that will be gone so that was our next css game so the next game we have is a get css so here you can see it will give us that layout and then it's on us that we have to choose this layout so is that the coding or is this one the coding is this one the coding so we have to figure out that by yourself so <laughs> i didn't play this game but hey i'm gonna just start from the first one okay so we have a b c and they provide a display flex column center and it's stretching so it's not centered okay it's centered so i guess this is going to be the first one so if i click on it yep exactly this css indeed renders the frame okay so if you click on the next and then it will ask us like which one is the pure coding to uh, render this ui right here so if I expand that, so I'm not going to be wasting your time. You should play around with this game by yourself. So, uh, you know, I'm going to just select this random one, this first one as well. So this one is also <laughs> correct. So now let me just uh, click on the next one. And I'm going to just fast forward the video and found the solution. So I bet this is the th this C one. So I'm going to just click on the C. Okay, sure, you've been very close but the answer is b okay so i just missed one out and now i want you to come to this side and play around with this coding by yourself so yeah that was our third one now the next one we have is a css grid garden so if you guys don't know about what a css grid is so you can play this game but if you already learned what a css grid is so trust me this game will help you a lot so what do we have to do 
it will give us that instructions right here and then it will give us a few codes right here but now it's on us that we have to put this box from here like this water box from here and we have to put it right here so what do we have to do this one is a simple one so what i'll do is that i'll just write a grid column and start and it will just start from the third row right here if i click on the next one it has 28 games right here so i mean like 28 levels if you want to check that out and this one is also easy one so we just have to write grid column and then start and we just have to put a fifth one and boom and now i'm going to just give you the lost solution and then i want you to come to this side and play around with this game by yourself so i'll just write a grid column and and for four okay so now if i hit next and that's a great garden game you can play around with that if you want to so next game we have is a css defense game so you can learn about this instruction by yourself so what do we have to do is that we have to put our tanks somewhere so that they didn't get destroyed and they destroy these uh, i don't know these plants or plate or whatever they, they are coming from here and we should have to destroy that so what do we have to do i'm going to just write justify content of center okay so if i do that i'm going to just write a start and it will now put these tanks right here and we should destroy this so uh, that's our first one it will destroy that one and now let's just wait for it and i guess i won <laughs> and this is how you can play this game congrats you've uh, scored 100 points try again or next wave okay so you can play around with this game and i'm gonna also give you the link in the description below so yeah cool stuff so the next game we have is a css flexbox froggy and i'm assuming that if you've ever worked with a css flexbox so you play this game so you can learn about these instructions right here but now i'm gonna just give you a few solutions so that you get just an idea of what to do so here you can see we have this frog right here and we have to put that right here so on the leaves so i'll just write justify content of center not center but flex and so we just have to push that right here so next thing which you have to do is that we have to just write justify content and we just have to put these two frogs at the center right here and hit next and now i'm going to just give you the final solution and that would be it so you should come to this side and play this game by yourself and now let me just write space around because we have to put these frogs on these leaves so i'm gonna hit next and there's a css flexbox froggy so the next one we have is a css flexbox adventure and you can learn about this uh, game by yourself and here you can see like it's kind of the same like uh, css flexbox froggy and stuff but this one will have a few levels like um a beginner's level i mean like easy level medium level and hard level so i'm going to just choose like easy one and i'm going to hit play so what do we have to do we have to just put this little guy onto this apple so you can learn about this instruction like how you use a justify content property and we have this wrap and we provide a display of flex on it and all of that kind of good stuff so what i'll do is that i'll just write justify justify content of what flex uh, not flex and but just a center okay so we have to put it center and now let's just check the answer and we won so now the next thing which we have to do is that we select this field and we have to put this little guy at the end so we will just write justify justify content of flex ends so now here you can see we put this little guy at the end and we can check the answer and the answer is totally correct so now let's just learn about the final game which is the knight of the flexbox table so this game is based on a tailwind css so if you work with a tailwind css then you will be able to play this game if you have never worked with a tailwind css before so you can play this game and by the way i've already have a tailwind course as well if you want to check that out so that's also free available on my youtube channel as well so what do we have to do we just have to put this guy from here and we have to put it right here by using our css flexbox inside it helmet so i'll just write like justify and okay so if i do that i'm going to remove these columns from here and hooray <laughs> you did it 
and so now if you click on the next one and you can play this game so if i just write uh i don't know justify center and here you can see they both will be now at the center and now we can click on the next one and now we can just play around with these games so i'll just write justify um around and here you can see this one is also done so thank you so much for watching and i hope you will love these games and i'm gonna give you all of these games links in the description below in case if you want to check it out